Father, we are coming before you this noon, this evening. We come to see you. We are not here to see any man. Lord, I pray that you open our inner mind so we can receive and be free. Lord, let the truth come out to every life and for freedoms to come. Because the Bible says the truth shall set you free. The power of truth, nothing to compare with. May your name be glorified. The truth of your kingdom, O oh Lord, to set us free in the name of Jesus Christ. And somebody shout a big amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I greet every one of us in the precious mighty name of Jesus. At this hour, uh, God wanted to look at important message which is robbing some of us of a victory. It's not letting us to be able you know, to walk according to the way God wanted to call, walk. And this is talking about the wise and foolish. The wise and what? And foolish. If you look at the world wise, because I'm much, much interested in the world wise, the reason is because we need to really understand the original and connection to the touch to wise. I know wise is having to be a great understanding of people and of situation and of mutual discriminated judgment in dealing with them. Is trying to make us understand it's not natural. Hello. Wise is not just coming to anybody. But the wiser one is mighty God. Is the gift of the wiseness. It belongs to mighty God. It's not one that anyone can just obtain. But when we talk about foolishness, a foolish person never sees light. They love darkness. They will see darkness and they will think, yes, I'm in the right part of ways of life. But it's not so. Foolishness engage people into troubles of life. Praise God. So, let's see what the Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5 says. He said, a wise man we hear. Listen carefully. A wise man we hear and we increase learning and the man of understanding shall attain the unto wise counsel. We connect with wise counsel. Foolishness will not take it away from them. Foolishness will not take it away. Until you get the wisdom that you can understand the power of victory. And that is when you can really have understanding of the weakness of your enemy. It takes the wisdom of God. You must be wise. It's very important. What Proverbs chapter 9, 8 says, Reprove not his corner, lest he hate thee. Rebook a wise man, and he will love thee. Because it will connect to truth, understanding. Hallelujah. It's done to connect with the truth, what? Understanding. It will see light. It will recognize it right there. It will see the power that controls whatever that is standing in the way of the apostle. Hallelujah. 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 We're well, going somewhere. In Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9, say, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will yet wiser teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. So, wisdom is very important. The comfort of God is an empowerment to people.
build you to connect you with your glory. That is one thing you need to get clear here. In the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 8. Genesis chapter 41 verse 8. And it came to pass in the morning that the experience was troubled and he sent and called for the all magician of Egypt and all the wise men thereof and Pharaoh told them his dream but there were was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh you know you see the people that he called the wise people were they wise? no it's beyond them because the dream that they have it takes wise men to have the understanding but they have all these magicians listen carefully because when God calls an issue to glorify himself no magic man have power to give you the answer no one calls a wise we have the understanding until you connected with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imagine in the palace of the king, in the king palace, he has mighty men that he called wise men. But the one God wanted to use was in the prison. Original wise man is in where? Is in the prison. Is not recognized. They never knew a source puzzle can be there. But those who we honor have been giving money to taking care of them and thinking they have power of understanding could not have solution. They have no answer. Because you cannot interpret what God arranged for his glory. Hello. No one can do that. No one has the power. No one can understand it. No one that the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Be not wise in their own eyes. Fear the law and depart from people. Because that is just the life that is happening in the palace of Egyptians. Because they all believe in power of themselves. It's just like Goliath. Goliath so believed in himself. He was raging and raging and raging. But a young, sharp guy that is not even recognized among the children of Israel. In fact, in his family, he was not recognized. David wasn't be, be someone that anybody could think something great could come out of him. But we don't know a full of power of God in him. So also Joseph. Joseph was full of anointing and interpretation of any dream at all. You may not recognize. People may not see you to be something. Don't worry yourself. Your time is coming. I mean what I'm telling you. Your time is coming. Whatever devil is trying to let you hold his hand and thinking you are nowhere to be found. No. Your time is coming. The wise and the glory of God, when it's time to reveal you, you will shine. And no power can stop you. Because no Egyptian will take your position. No. No Egyptian magician no magician will take your position. But you yourself, when your time comes to reveal you, you will take your position. Don't give up. I don't care what situation you into. Your time is coming. I want you to hear this. Hear this. Hear this. Wow. Hear this. The power of glory is in the wise. Look at what Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 7 say. Take you wise men and understand and know among the tribe and I will make them rule over you. Verse 15 now say, So I took the sheep 
of your tribes, wise men, and know, and made them head over you, captain over thousands, and captain over hundreds, and captain over fifties, and captain over ten, and officers among your tribes. The wisdom come to bring stress because it's too much for Moses at that time. It cannot really, you know, control, not stand it. I don't, I, I don't really know what you are facing. That's so stand so strong. Wisdom will lead you to it. Jesus will set you free. The power of God will bring release to you. No kingdom will be able to hold you back because you be Lord to mighty God. Hallelujah. The power that time to struggle with you, you will see the all going to be cast down and the power of his kingdom will lift you up. We lift you up. The Lord is telling somebody, say, don't give up. Do not give up. Don't give up. Devil wants you to give up. Devil wants you to see the end of yourself. Devil wants you to believe that you can make it. Devil thinking, yes, it is over for you. That is a lie. That is not what God is saying. The Bible say, my thought toward you is not to go. If God is having good thoughts over you, who in that devil can change the greater thought over you? You don't know what, who you're thinking of. You don't, you don't really get it. We are talking about mighty God that created everything. He got the whole world in his hand. He can do and undo. And you want devil to keep on holding you to make you to feel that there is no way how you're going to be to be free. No, your freedom is now. Your release is coming now. The power of his glory is coming right now. The power of his glory is coming right now. Change is coming. Amen. Nothing can hold you back. No power can hold you back. Because the Bible says, greater is he that is you that is in the world. We are talking about mighty God. It's mightier. It's great doing. Of all what he's doing. No demon, no power, no causes by any man can hold him back. You will move forward. I'm not showing you this. You are going to move forward. You are leaving that position to higher level. Hallelujah. You are moving out of that bondage to freedom. Freedom is yours. The job is completed. At the Calvary, you will see the power of wisdom in wise is what so great to the one that really give themselves to God. Working with God advantage of the beauty of his glory in perfecting things in your life nothing to compare because god will not leave you alone it's not going to allow you to let anything take its position in your life mm -hmm. no 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 they cannot take the position of god that is what devil wanted to do look at as mad as it is he would do he bring adam and leave down but christ called to take over. Amen. To replace. To repair the damages. And in that damage that he completed. You know perverted. Is the grace that made me to stand before you. And that, that grace is still flowing. Hallelujah. Amen. The end of the call here. Door is coming. But as I'm talking right now. We have not had the trumpet. So Christ is still here. The power of him is manifesting. It's glory. It's working. And no power can hold you back. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, when you walk with God, you're connected to the wise and the power and the anointing of it begin to take place in your life. And things will change. Through the wiseness, 
that will tell you what you are not supposed to do that be holding you. If there is any sin you like to commit and commit and commit, you have to throw it. A wise person will understand. This is not heaven alive. I can't need to drop it. When I drop it, I know things will change. I know I'm going to have a different look. I know our heart is a different. Oh my God. You will just see the beauty of God will come to you and you'll find yourself in the glory of mighty God. Mm -hmm. I was studying the word of God this morning. I read a verse in the book of Ecclesiastes. I think chapter 7. By the time I was studying the word, I saw something strange. I paused and I began to ask God question. Lord, because a lot of people might have read this one, they will not get actual understanding of it. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, most of the people that live in the Old Testament, there are a lot of imperfection in their life. Hello. Because he's building them to perfection. He says, Christ has come. He said, anything that I saw in the life of Jesus Christ, that is where perfection is. And that what he moved to the disciples. And the disciples were spreading the power and the beauty and the fullness of righteousness. Look at their life. Why didn't Christians come to them? Because people can see the actuality of Jesus Christ in them. And they now call them little Jesus. And indeed, the glory of God, the fullness of righteousness was established. No wonder the Bible said, Behold, all things are passed away. Oh my God, all things have to go. No more of ways of life of Adam and Eve. The new life of God through Jesus Christ that died for us on the cover. And he cried, Shall I? It is finished. The end of your problem is now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because the job is being done on the cover. Amen. It has finished. They will want you to look at it as if it's not finished. Because it doesn't want you to get that wisdom. It doesn't want you to get that understanding. It doesn't want you to really see it in reality. Say, yes, I got to understand now. Devil, you cannot stop me. I'm not going to be sad. That crime is not for me. I know a change is coming. My God is going to make it happen. I will be victorious. You need to clear that. Oh, the time. Tell it. Understanding has come to me. God has been pulling and rise. Glory for being in me. And God is understanding now. Shut up, evil. Shut up, devil. I'm not taking that advice. I will not take the advice. I will not take what you introduce me to. I'm a new man. Christ do it in me. The power of his glory was in me. You cannot rule over. You will not rule over. I will rule over. Guys is ruling. Is he alive? Hallelujah. Your victory is standing in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible may be understand in the book of Job 17 verse 10. But as for you all, do you return and come now? For I cannot find one wise among you. Why is he saying that? Because most of friends that surround him, they don't have a good word of encouragement to his situations. They were asking him to deny God and die. Hello. It's not the word of wise. The wise man will say, Standing, God is alive for you. Standing, you are not going to die, you will live. Yeah. Standing, that business will take a good shape. Standing. This is why God cannot kill you. Stand. Because Christ is alive. And indeed he's alive. Recently we celebrate the remembrance of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is real. It happened. It perfected the truth. The fulfillment of that glory. It happened. He resurrected. Why the 
Then we go to Calvary. Christ cannot go to Calvary. And for you not to connect with the truth of that, you know, Calvary that he went to, to die for us. He turned his blood down the price that he paid. Hallelujah, somebody. God is ready to liberate you. Don't allow the devil to keep you thinking you can make it. See yourself that you are able. I can do what you do, Christ that's to me. I can do it. No, I can't fall out. I will not fall out. I'm standing in truth of his glory. The power of his kingdom still existing. Tell that to situation. No. That marriage will be okay. Yes. That job, yes, I'm going to get it. Yes. My finances will change. Yes, believe it. I'm not going to continue with this wrong way. Yes, it will happen. And you will not con continue. Because the inducement of whiteness of God is already attached to the glory of God in you. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Wait. Follow his leading. The power of his kingdom will lead you. And you will be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Any threatening power, any threatening power here in the name of the Lord, no to that threatening. No to that power. No to that kingdom. In the name of Jesus, receive your freedom now in Jesus' name. This is your freedom. Be wise. Be wise. Understand the truth. Psalm 36, verse 3 say, The words of his mouth are iniquity to say, He has led up to be wise and to do good. Can you see? You know, the spirit of deceit, it comes to tell you what will not help you. The spirit of deceit is come to show you that you are not able. You are able in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, you are able in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. That one is a liar. We're just talking about him now. He will continue to be the grace in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. He cannot rule because Christ has died. Here is Zion, a place where God dwells. His name will have to continue to reign. Hallelujah, somebody. Now, as I said, in the book of Psalm, Psalm 36, verse 3, in which I read before, the word of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Devil doesn't have any good thing to give to you. There is no wisdom in Satan. No wisdom than to make you to feel you are nowhere to be found. That it do not happen. The name of the Lord will never glorify your life. There is a liar. The truth of his kingdom was rested upon his own. So therefore, once you walk with God, he take care of you. Look at what is happening. I have to stop the message. I notice, I see that, oh my God. What is going on here? They will just want to degrade us and he can't degrade us. He cannot degrade us. Because he's the law of life, he created her. He healer or no he healer. The higher he healer is here. 
and the higher the head have touched the heart. Hallelujah. The Lord was corrected right away by the power that in the name of Jesus Christ. We are talking of life power here. We are talking about truth of God. And is with us here. And the wisdom of God is to let you know that no one can help you beside Jesus Christ. Is perfect. Jesus is what? Is perfect. No comparison about him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God. But listen to this verse. Chapter 37 verse 8 says, Cease from hunger and forsake wrong. Friend not thyself in any ways to do evil. Don't let the evil people are doing to you to make you to act evil. No. Let's keep our ways. Have ourselves away from evil. We need to get wisdom. Let's be wise. It is free to those God have already given it to. Hallelujah, somebody. Psalm 49, 10 says, It said that the wise men die. Likewise, the fool and both his puzzle perish and leave their way to others. And that's, that's one thing about the things or whatever you have in this world. Be you a Christian, you go to that. Be you a fool, man, you die. Be you wise, you die. But the truth of God remain with those who are standing with God. Say, I have the truth with me. I believe I have the truth. Say, I have the truth with me. The power of the truth is with me. No power can change it. No kingdom can change it. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of truth of his kingdom will rest forever with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 64 verse 9 says, And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider all of his doing in your life. People will fear about your victory. Because the glory of God is going to liberate you. They will fear of great doing of God in your life. Because they are going to see impossible to be possible. Hallelujah. What they thought cannot happen in your life. For the glory of God is coming in his power. Oh my good God. So in Proverbs chapter 8, here this, this is very interesting. Verse 33. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. We need to connect with God. Hallelujah. We need to walk with God. Amen. We need to stand in God. We need to listen to truth that is coming to us. That can really elevate us to the glory of God. That will set you free. That will set me free. That will be with the actuality of God in us. Hallelujah, somebody. Because God is alive. The truth of Him is manifesting itself here in you and in me. So God has to glorify His holy name. To prove who he is to you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hear what Jude said. Jude chapter 1 verse 25. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. And amen. 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 Hear that one. To him, only wise God. That means when you get God, you will get wise. Wisdom will be your portion. Amen. No wonder in chapter 1 yeah. of uh, Proverbs verse 7. Chapter 1, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Hear this. This is what he said. The fear of the Lord 
is the beginning of knowledge. But fool despite the wisdom and instruction. The truth has come to you. You will not lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of his kingdom will rest over you. But I want to, I want to tell you this evening, God is right with you here. What is your DNA? Be connected with the truth. And that will don't go without being touched. Experience the power of God. Let your freedom come. Accept him. Let him walk in you. Connect with him. His glory will be with you. His kingdom is waiting for you. Hallelujah. Because he said, No unrighteous thing will enter the earth. So holiness is the power of the king. I was sharing with the man of God today when he came. I was telling him about Psalm 91, verse, verse, uh, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of Moses shall I abide under the shadow of all. But listen to this. It's with condition. You can't need to abide. Dwell in the secret place. Without dwelling in the secret place, you cannot get the shadow. No, the shadow will not come. The shadow will not come. That means righteousness have to be your goal. Holiness have to be your goal. You have to put you in. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, the seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be handed unto you. Let's put you righteousness. And the power behind that is this. When you close your eyes out of this eye, war, you will meet with him in heaven. But if you don't, you only live in as a dead person forever. You will never have that grace of attaining eternity. That means his prayer is waiting for such person. That will not be a portion in the precious name of Jesus. I want you to say, God, Lord, I will attain wisdom. Say, Lord, I will attain wisdom. Let wisdom be the key of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In 